Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how easily you can deploy your Spring Boot application into Render Cloud Platform. So let's get started. First I'm going to go to start out of Spring.io. I'm selecting Kotlin project uh, with Gradle Kotlin build and uh, only one dependency, but you can use your imagination and add any other dependency you need. Uh, generate the project and then I'm going to go to GitHub and uh, create a new repository. Let's name it as Spring Render. Then create the repository and upload the file that is generated from here. Okay, let's copy this. Commit. And I'm going to open it with GitHub Scope Space. First, I'm going to go to source main demo application and add some code so that we can see some output when we are hitting some endpoint. In this case, I just added this hello endpoint, which is going to return hello render. That's it. And in the root, I'm also going to create a Docker file. Here, I'm going to mention how our container should be built. So I'm going to use Ubuntu, but you can use any other. And then I'm going to update the repositories and download one dependency to build our uh, Spring Boot project then i'm going to copy everything from this to the container finally run the gradle w boot char command so this is not going to work because by default if you see over here it's a read write only so we need to make it executable so we need to change it with chmod Now it's executable. Finally, you're gonna define the container that's gonna run our application. In this case, I'm using OpenJDK 17 Slim. So I'm using this 17 because here we defined this 17. And by default, the Spring Boot uh, application, uh, when you create an application from here, it runs on its port 8080. But you can definitely change it uh, from the application YML. Anyway, this is why I'm exposing port 8080. And finally, uh, I need to copy uh, the file that is generated from here to this container. So here, I, for simplicity, uh, I'm making it as demo test uh, one. So this one is currently not gonna work. So for that, I need to go here and change this version to one. And this demo name is coming from here. So again, if we go to Docker files, that's how I'm copying from this build stage, from this build directory lib and this chart to app.jar. Finally, I'm gonna say how I'm gonna run this application, which is super easy, just java minus jar and the jar name app jar. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you just commit here, that's all the coding I'm gonna do for this. And now I need to deploy it on this platform. So for that, it's really easy. Sign in, you can use GitHub so that you can directly see your project from GitHub. I'm gonna choose the web services. And from here, you can see our project that we just created, connect it, give it a name and choose your instance type. Uh, so for now, I'm gonna choose the free one. You can choose the other one and just Web services. So as soon as you do that, 
you can see in the event that it uh, try to start deploying the application. But since I have chosen the free version, it's gonna take some time to deploy the application. So I'm gonna pause the video for now. And once it's done, I will come back. Okay, it's done. So once it's done, you can go to the link that's provided over here and view your application. So now go to the endpoint that you defined and you should be seeing this hello render. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you in this video that how easy it is to deploy your Spring Boot application using the render platform. I hope you liked it. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment below. That's all. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.